It's update time, everybody. Welcome back. This is our first time we're covering Forza updates because this this was a big one, and you don't want to miss the information coming out on this one. And there's one part in particular that's gonna make a night and day difference for finding rare cars in Forza Horizon 5. However, first I think we should cover the new cars that are coming into Forza Horizon 5 as probably every single one of these is going to be rare at one point or another so if you're someone who's focused on completing their collection you're going to want to look out for these. First of all we got a brand new Toyota coming out. The Toyota Soarer that couldn't be a harder name to say if they tried. It's 1997 it is pretty much the Lexus SC300 but Toyota's version that was made first. It's gonna have customizations, definitely recommend that. We're gonna be drifting it with the Goose. And that comes out October 10th. On October 17th, one week later obviously, we get another new car, the 98 Mitsubishi FTO GP version R. Nice of them to keep the name short. This, in all honesty, looks like a slightly modified version of the Eclipse. They really are going back to the 90s with these, this update. All these cars are 90s related. But anyways, again, this is a pretty good update. All of these cars seem like they're going to be cars I'm going to want to drive. There's no useless ones in here. They all look like they can either race or drift or do something of value in the game. So this is all great news. And then come October 24th, we have the 1990 Aston Martin Lagonda or Sagonda. Just kidding. YouTube, don't monetize me. Demonetize. Sorry. This is probably the ugliest car releasing on this list. In my opinion, it looks like an uglier DeLorean. Didn't know that was possible, but maybe it's your cup of tea. This is probably the only skip on this list. And then to cap things all off, we have the scariest car of this list so far because it's coming out October 31st. It's got to be scary. And yep, it's a Subaru. 96 SV. This looks exactly to me like the Toyota Sora or the Mitsubishi. All three of those cars look very, very similar, but they're all going to be great to drive. So I highly recommend you get it. Now, the main reason I am making this video, the number one reason and something that's going to change Forza Horizon 5 until the end of its life lifetime is something we had in Horizon 4. But if you started on Horizon 5, you wouldn't know what that is called backstage and i know that doesn't sound exciting at all and maybe you've already heard a little bit about it but i'm gonna put you through a master class so you're fully ready and you can comprehend how major this is for us so essentially backstage allows you to get incredibly exclusive cars that maybe haven't released in months right away this was great in horizon 4 this is how i got some of my very early on hard to get cars that i couldn't get on the auction house and it seems like they've made it a bit easier in Horizon 5. Now, there are a few cars. I think there's six total that are starting in the, in the backstage pass. So if you have any of these cars right now, you might as well sell them because they're not going to be as rare. So if any of these sell for 20 million, I recommend you selling them. But we got the Fiat 131 Abarth, the M4 Competition Coupe, the BMW that I had in my last video, the Cadillac Limousine. That's kind of good, like it's a car everyone should get. So, I mean, love it and hate it. Uh, the 280 Mercedes-Benz, 1967. Pagani Weyra, BC, however you want to say that. And then the Rivian R1S. These are the ones that are starting in the backstage pass. And every week, what's going to happen is Forza is going to put up two cars. Two cars that could potentially be added to the pass. And the community is going to vote on the one or the other which one they want added and then whichever one gets more votes gets added into the backstage pass and this will continue every single week new cars will be added it'll be like a catalog of very rare cars which is all fine and dandy but but we don't know how to get the cars how how are we going to be able to, like do we just get to pick any cars we want of this at any point and pay market value no you need you need a pass a pass or a voucher in order to redeem one of those cars but luckily it is very easy to get one of these passes why is it so easy that is a great question because the passes are for sale in the forza thon shop for only 1000 forza thon points which is great news because 
right up until now, the Forzathon shop has been useless. So finally, there's actually a reason to earn Forzathon points, which is great news because you can actually purchase Forzathon points from lots of different cars. So my job over these next couple of weeks until this releases is going to be finding the best car and most valuable for get turning your skill points into Forzathon points so that when this update releases, you can be juiced up with backstage passes. And then on top of all this, rare cars are becoming slightly easier to get so people aren't as discouraged when they're auction sniping. This is just all in all the best update Forza could have done. Thank you, Forza. I actually have nothing negative to say whatsoever. This is a stellar update. And if you are going to want to know how to get those Forzathon points or you are looking forward to that video I'm making, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications for the channel. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. That's pretty much the main thing I wanted to cover today. And we fully covered it. So, as always, we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.